In mid-May, the local study tour happened, and there was a group of about 20 MBAs representing a variety of countries, and we traveled throughout southern BC. I told several students before we left, you're going to be blown away. Started on the west coast, went through the Fraser Canyon, and then into the southern Okanagan. I fully understand now when they say supernatural British Columbia. The experience was amazing, but the backdrop of that scenery was just the complete package. The purpose of the trip was learning about Aboriginal business. First Nations traditional territory encompasses a much greater area than the reservations that they had to settle on and the land that they were given. Their area has never really been fully defined and that's what they've been fighting for over all these years. If you want to do business in BC, particularly if it's related to the land, anything having to do with extraction, you will be doing business with First Nations. And therefore, some exposure to First Nations communities seemed really crucial to me. Any person wanting to do business in the resource sector, the real estate sector, tourism sector, needs to know about these new realities. We met a lot of people from traditional territories, the Indian bands, gained a lot of knowledge about their past, their culture. It's really interesting to get those insights when you are there from the people who have experienced it personally. Part of the trip is to provide an environment where it is easy to ask questions. And so we use the bus as a rolling classroom. We're gonna start seeing signs on the highway here. It's the first time that our language is on the signs. And this was a huge, huge um, step for First Nations in Canada. Their place names, territories, the villages, so to speak, Quemquemele is Vancouver. That each of these First Nations and bands, they have used their resources in a different way. Maybe there's a band who is using the tourism to its benefit. Somebody is using the natural resources in terms of harnessing the water energy for their purposes. The Kanakabar Band has partnered with a renewable energy company called Energex to develop a run-of-the-river hydro project. It's a fantastic example of how developing natural resources in partnership with the business community and First Nations can totally transform a community. They're using the revenue to build community engagement. They want the members to feel connected again to that land. Our vision statement for the community is to return to a self-sufficient, sustainable, and vibrant community. So we're putting in small-scale projects. Make a decision. If it's the right one, live with it. If it's the wrong one, learn from it. This trip really helped teach us how to actually do business with First Nations. One of the biggest things is transparency and building trust. Talking with some of the chiefs and the First Nations membership, that was what they really stressed. And to do that, it takes a lot of time, so a lot of listening and understanding what people's needs are and wants are, and not just focusing on what you as a business want to do. 